Since the start of the online class, parents and students have been taking pictures of the worksheets, filled up modules or answered examination papers to be submitted online to their teachers. It is usually challenging since there are a lot of factors involved like the lighting, the wind, the angles, the shadows, the shades and more. And even if you have a scanner at home, it takes a lot of time and effort just to scan a single quiz answer. What you're seeing in the screen now are real-life samples of these struggles. So, in this video, I am going to show you how you can scan a document, a picture, and even a whiteboard by just using your phone. As an added bonus, I'll also teach you how to convert a picture of a document into an actual text that you can copy and paste anywhere. Let's get started. Okay. We will begin by installing the application that we need to our phone. Go to Play Store, search for Office, and install it if you haven't got it on your phone yet. This is the Android version of the Microsoft Office. It is totally free, and if you have an iPhone, the Office application is also available to the App Store for free, and all the functionalities are basically the same as what I'm going to show you here using Android phone. It's done installing, let's open it. You can log into your Microsoft account if you want to, but for this video's purpose, I will just skip all the startup stuffs right now so we can proceed with the demo. Okay, from the home screen of Office, click on the plus icon in the middle bottom part of the screen. This will give you three options for note, lens and voice. We will go to the lens. If it asks for permission, allow it. I'll choose while using the app. Now we're inside the lens. We have four options here for whiteboard, documents, photo and actions which has two options for extracting a table or extracting a text. Let's do a document scan first. As you can see, it automatically detects the edge of the document while you hover the camera to it. It also recognizes its correct orientation. Let's take a snap. Once you've taken the picture, it doesn't matter if it is straight or not, it will automatically correct the document's orientation as if you have used a scanner. Let's tap on confirm so you'll see what I mean. There you go. It is now straight as if you've used a scanner. But the shadow, which I intentionally included in the shot, is really bad. Don't worry, we can fix that using the filter. We will use the black and white filter here. Witness the magic happen here. Bala. It is now a legit scan document. Who would have thought that this is just scanned from a phone, I wouldn't believe it if I never saw it. Great great application here. Let's go back. Now, if you are scanning more pages from the same document, you can choose the Add option here. Let's do that. Let's scan this intentionally dirty and slightly crumbled paper here with a handwritten text. Let's just get the correct edge here, take a snap. Again, it doesn't matter what angle you take, it will automatically be corrected by this app. Let's tap Confirm. Now you can see the number 2 in the scanned document. Let's click the arrow with number 2 here to edit the previously scanned document. Let's use the black and white filter again. There you go. Just like magic. Even the smudges are almost gone. Let's go back again. Let's say we are done scanning the papers. Let's tap on the done button here. The scanned files are already saved as pictures in your phone, but you are given more choices here on how you want to save them. Let's try saving it as a PDF file. There you go. In just one tap, you now have a PDF file of the documents you scanned. You can now share this PDF file or save it to anywhere on your device with whatever file name you want. Isn't that great? Really easy and really great. Let's go back to the lens. Now let's try scanning a whiteboard. I have a whiteboard ready here. Align it and take a snap. Just like the documents, the application will automatically correct the orientation and angle of this. Let's play around with the filter here. I think I like this negative one. Let's use that. Tap done. Now, let's try exporting it as PowerPoint this time. There you go. With just one tap, you now have a slide. Again, all of the snaps we took are already saved as a picture automatically. So, creating a PowerPoint or PDF file will not delete or update those first snaps that you took. Let's go to my gallery here just to show you those pictures that we took. Here we go. It's all here. Alright. Now let's go back to the lens. Let's try a photo scan this time. Unlike the documents and whiteboard option, there's no perspective correction here, so you'll need to align it correctly. I actually don't see any difference here between taking a picture from your default camera. It's the same function. Anyway, let's try cropping this. Let's apply a black and white filter. Half done. Nothing special here. 
let's do something more special here. Let's try the OCR or optical character recognition function here. OCR converts the text from a picture then converts it to actual texts. Let's go to the actions and let's extract a table from a picture. You can do this with an existing picture from your phone, but let's take a new one here. Let's select the area where there's data here. I've taken the picture of the handwritten paper. Let's tap continue. It's now extracting the data. There we go. It's not that good actually. Since I processed a dirty document with a handwritten text, this is expected. Lots of gibberish characters here. Now, let's try a printed document and use the one that we previously scanned. Select the proper area with data and tap continue. It's extracting now. That's what I'm talking about. With a proper document, it can read it correctly and put them in a table properly. There's still some minor mistakes, but overall, a really good OCR functionality here. From here you can copy this and paste it to your documents. I'll discard this for now. Let's now try to extract the bare text from a document. I'll be using this dirty and handwritten text for this one. Since we are only extracting text here, not a table, it can probably recognize my handwriting easier. Extracting now. There we go. Success. Again, there's some minor missed characters, but instead of retyping a whole document, you can just do this and type in just the minor corrections. Making everyone's job easier. Let's do one more for the printer document this time. Same process. Wow, even better result. A really nice OCR functionality. Copy this text. Let me open my note here, so I can paste the copied text. There you go. You can save hours and hours of typing with this technology. By just using this free application, MS Office, and your phone, there's no need to buy a scanner anymore, and with its OCR functionality, digitizing a hard printed document couldn't be any easier and faster. Alright, I hope this helps. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you love it, please consider subscribing to the channel. Nilisuj for watching. Nova Air.